Greetings, ladies. Today happens to be our first lesson on the course titled Ge College Geometry. And our course code is EBS 124J, level 100, semester 2. Our first topic is on geometrical construction. And our first lesson is on construction and bisection of angles and lines. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to construct a line segment, construct a perpendicular bisector, construct a perpendicular line to pass through a point on a given line. Construct a perpendicular line to pass through a point outside the given line. Construct parallel lines. Construct angles using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. And the last one, bisect constructed angles. Our introduction. The word construction in geometry has a very specific meaning. Geometric construction is a drawing of geometrical shapes, angles or lines using a pair of compasses, straight edge or a measuring rule, and a pencil. Normally, constructions are done using a pair of compasses and a ruler only. If otherwise, it will be stated categorically. You have to note that it is advisable that we sketch all our problems before we start with the actual construction. Now, we start with construction of a line segment. Our activity, one, using a ruler and a pair and a pencil, draw a straight line. Open your compass to measure the given length on the measuring rule say 8 centimeters. You can decide to choose any length you like. Place the metal end or pin at any point on the straight line and construct an arc to cut the line at a point and name it B. So you put our compass here and you construct the arc and name it B. Lift your pair of compasses and place it on B. And with the same radius, draw another arc to cut the straight line again and name it A. So it means our line segment AB is 8 centimeters. Good. Let us continue. We move on to the construction of a perpendicular bisector. Now, a perpendicular bisector is a straight line that divides another line into two equal parts and makes an angle of 90 degrees. The perpendicular bisector of a line is also called the mediator. So, our first activity. Draw a given line segment AB, say AB, which is 8 centimeters. Now open your compass more than half of AB, and with compass on A, draw arcs above and below the line AB. So we have our line AB, then 
compass on me, we draw our first arc above and the second one below. Using the same radius, place the compass at B and draw arcs to intersect the previous arcs and locate their points of intersection. So after putting our compass on B, it will intersect with the first arcs we drew. Then we draw a straight line through the point of intersection to give the perpendicular bisector or mediator of the line as shown below. I hope we are doing it. Now we move on to the construction of a perpendicular line passing through a point on a given line. Our activity. One, draw a given line AB, say eight, sorry, ten centimeters. Kindly, as you move along, don't be measuring the presentation, one on it, because it is not drawn to scale. You must know that. Mark a point on the line AB and name it P. So you have a P on the line AB. Put your compass on P and open it reasonably or conveniently and draw two arcs to intersect the given line at C and F. So we have C and F being located on our line AB. Bisect the line CF and draw a line to pass through P. So that is how it will look like. Good. The line drawn is perpendicular to the line AB. Now I'll move on to construction of a perpendicular line passing through a point outside the line. Activity 1. Draw a straight line and name it AB. Say AB is equal to 10 centimeters. So that is our line segment AB. Then we mark a point above the line AB and name it P. So this line or this point is above the line AB. Anywhere above it or below it, you can do so. You will still achieve the same objective. Put your compass on P and open it such that you can construct two arcs on the line AB and name them X and Y. So our compass on P, we construct two arcs and name them X and Y. Put your compass on X and open it more than half of XY and draw an arc below the line AB with the same radius and on Y draw another arc to intersect the first arc and locate their point of intersection. Draw a line from P through the intersection. So the line from P through the intersection is perpendicular to the line AB. We now move on to construction of parallel lines. Activity 1. Draw a line segment and name it AB. So you can choose your own length. And you draw it.
with a convenient radius at A and B, construct arcs above the line AB as shown below. Draw a straight line to touch the arcs. Now, the two lines are said to be parallel because they are the same distance apart. And when we prolong the two lines, they will never meet. We move on to construction of angles. The space created between the intersection of two straight lines forms an angle. An angle is measured with an instrument called the protractor. A protractor can be used to draw a given angle. We can use the ruler and a pair of compasses to construct some special angles. Examples are 15 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 75 degrees, 90 degrees, 105 degrees, 120 degrees, 135 degrees, and 150 degrees. So we move on to construction of the angle 60 degrees. Our first activity, let us draw a line AB. So you draw a line AB. Then with a compass at A and a convenient radius, we draw an arc to cut AB at P. With the same radius, stand on P and construct an arc to cut the first arc at point T. So we have our second arc intersecting with the first arc. And we have named the point of intersection T. Now we draw a line from A to pass through T. The angle form is 60 degrees. So we locate our 60 degrees. So that is how we construct the angle 60 degrees using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. We move on to construction of angle 120 degrees. We draw a line XY, say 8 centimeters or 10 centimeters. With your compass at X and using a convenient radius, draw an arc to cut XY at A. With compass at A and the same radius, construct an arc to cut the first arc at B. Then with center B and same radius, construct another arc to cut the first arc at C. Good. So with a straight edge, draw a line from X to pass through C. The angle drawn is 120 degrees as shown below. Now we can also construct 30 degrees and 15 degrees through bisection of some angles. So bisection, as we all know, means dividing into two equal parts. So if it is angles, then it means you are dividing an angle into two equal parts. Now to construct the angle 60 degrees, So, to construct angle 30 degrees activity, we need to first construct the angle 60 degrees. 
Now with compass on T, open it more than half of TP and draw an arc. And with same radius on P, you draw another arc to intersect with the first arc as shown below. Draw a straight line from A to pass through the intersected arcs. Each angle now becomes 30 degrees. You must note that to construct 15 degrees, we will have to bisect the angle 30 degrees. Good. So you have to note that if you want to contract 15 degrees, then we will have to bisect 30 degrees to get 15. It means that we can also bisect 15 to get 7.5 degrees each. So that is what happens in the construction of angle 30. So if you bisect the 30 degrees, it will give us 15. If you continue to bisect the 15, it will give us 7.5 and so on and so forth. Now I move on to the construction of angle 90 degrees. Let us draw a line ABC 8 centimeters. Now open your compass reasonably or conveniently and at A draw a semicircle to intersect the line AB at B and Q. So you must note that in drawing our line AB, we should prolong it. That is to say, you draw your straight line first before you draw your line AB. With the same radius, place your pair of compasses at P and Q and draw two arcs on the semicircle and name them X and Y. So we have our two arcs on the semicircle. Bisect X, Y and name their point of intersection C and draw a straight line from A through C. The angle drawn is 90 degrees as shown below. Now, if you draw it very well or accurately, we can use our protractor to measure it. We must also note here that the bisection of angle 90 will give us 45 degrees and so on. Some angles can be constructed by adding or joining two or more angles at a point. Examples are 75 degrees, 105 degrees, 135 degrees, 150 degrees, etc. Example, construction of angle 135 degrees, activity. To construct angle 135 degrees at a point A, bisect the angle 90 degrees, at the other side of A to get 45 degrees to be added to the other side of 90. That is, 90 plus 45 degrees will give us 135 degrees. So this diagram shows how we go about it. So the angle to our right is 90 degrees and to our left is also 90 but we bisected the 90 degrees, meaning that if you divide the 90 into 2, each will give us 45 degrees. Then we add the 45 to the 90 to give us our 135 degrees. Let us summarize what you have learned so far. Geometrical construction is a drawing of geometrical shapes angles or lines using a pair of compasses, straight edge or a measuring rule, and a pencil. A line segment 
is a portion of a straight line. A perpendicular bisector is a straight line that divides another line into two equal parts and makes an angle of 90 degrees. The perpendicular bisector of a line is also called the mediator. A perpendicular can be constructed at a point on a line or at a point above or below a given line. Parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart and when prolonged will not meet. The space created between the intersection of two straight lines forms an angle. An angle is measured with a protractor. A protractor can be used to draw a given angle. Bisecting an angle means Dividing the angle into two equal parts. Let us take some self assessment. Now, construct and bisect the following angles using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. A, we have 45 degrees. B, we have 75 degrees. C, we have 105 degrees. And D, we have 150 degrees. This brings us to the end of our first lesson. I hope because of this crisis, we are still at home and you are supposed to stay at home. You must not forget to wear our mask, wash our hands before and after anything that we do, either in the house or elsewhere. Be good and bye for now.